All right, guys, hope everyone's well. Uh, just a quick one. You're just about to see me do a little bit of concreting uh, or putting a concrete base in. Uh, I did say in the last video I'm going to be, or not the last video, the video with the pigs and my daughter, uh, I'm going to be putting in a new pen for some rabbits. Uh, we've already got rabbits, we've had rabbits for years, but we're having problems with foxes. Um, so I'm going to put a concrete base down, they'll have a separate shed next to it, and then they'll have a, a netted run, basically, a wide run. Um, now, before anybody says anything, I know you don't use hardcore instead of ballast. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is a friend down Kent keeps pigs and he wants to put them on concrete. He's seen my pig sty uh, and the way I did it, which was the correct way in a way. I mean, none of this has got to be really structurally sound because it's just literally having a couple of animals on it. It has to be hard enough for them not to dig it, but it's just one of them things that doesn't have to, it doesn't have to withstand a great deal of uh, stresses and strains. So he is looking for a cheaper alternative or a cheaper way of doing it. And I said the only way you would do it is if you buy what, I get is you either buy um, clean or straight run when you buy hardcore I think it's self-explanatory the clean is basically it's it's riddled further so you literally just only get the stone straight run is with a lot of dust uh, this is quite heavy in dust which is quite good for me because obviously I'm doing concrete in it that it's like a ballast uh, with the dust being in there um, so this really is a slight experiment and to see how it goes now if I was to do this with ballast, I'd have done it with 10 mil because it's only a two meter by, uh, no, it's three meters by one and a half meters, sorry. Um, so I'd have done it with 10 mil ballast, put a, a layer of uh, hardcore down and then just stuck it on top. Um, I've literally just had to go out to the shop because I'm like a bar and a half short, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but hey ho, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing it with hardcore and not to shoot me. And I'm no expert at laying concrete slabs, but I've done a fair few and you know it's only for some rabbits to pee and poo on you know and get out in the sun um so yeah there we go just a little quick heads up i will say one thing about this though if you want to get a good nice flattish surface rather than getting like the ripple that i'd normally do like what i did with the pigs i went along with a, uh, the i've got a two by four at the minute um rather than doing that and going along and it give it some grip because it's got little ridges i'm trying to get this as flat as possible because you know it just it just makes it easier to clean um, and I want to see how smooth I can actually get the top and the only way I'm able to do that is make it the mix not really running wet. well it's actually running wet pretty wet so I can bosh the the one inch uh, stones down and it creates that little top layer on it um, it doesn't have to be perfect yet again it's just gonna have rabbits on it um, but it needs to be solid I am trying to make roughly a mix of five to one if it was something else, I did down the bottom, I did four to one for the pigs, but they're a bigger animal and they're a stronger. Uh, although saying that five to one is still quite a strongish mix. Um, as long as it goes grain, you're all right. Um, but anyway, I like myself crack on. I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. And um, this is going to be probably part one of maybe three, I think. Uh, yeah, because I'll build the shed next. Um, and I'll show you, me, show you me doing that. It's only going to be basically made out of fence panels. Um, which is basically like a normal shed because that's all the sheds are fence panels with corner bits on them um, you know total build so far the wood was free um, it was from a pallet that I have got uh, some materials on so the three by two on the sides and two by four by ones on the edges uh, the ends uh, so that was free I've already got screws the about a quid if you want to really tie it up I bought half a ton of one inch crush and run. Um, that was £7.50. So we're into it for £8.50. Um, I've already used three bags of cement. It wasn't going on as grey as I like it, but then that could just purely for the fact that the, the stuff I'm using is pretty orange. So, you know, it's going to set. I know that because there's enough cement in it. Um, and the, I've just been to the local shop because I couldn't be bothered to go into B&Q. Um, I'm now £6.50. So we are on about. 20 quid or something daft like that for this base i think um so what's that seven eight fifty and six fifty somebody work it out for me or i'll put it down below um but anyway i'm gonna crack on and let you watch the video there's not much to it there's a little bit of mixing a little bit of shovel a little bit of thingy in you know whether anybody gets anything from this or not i don't know if i was to do this properly i would have made it um 
four inches thick at least, and then you've got two inches more minimum of hardcore. You pick and choose what hardcore you want. For something like this, I'd go for the one inch because you'll get a better compact down there. If it's a larger area like I did down the bottom, I use two inch. Um, I, I actually personally prefer crush and run rather than uh, clean. I feel that all the stuff in between helps you compact it down a lot harder. I would also, also uh, hire a whacker plate, but yet again, the ground's pretty solid there, to be fair. In, in half of it, there's actually a concrete base there already. Um, but yeah, there we go. See you guys later. Bye-bye.
Yes, I'm moving out. <laughs> 